Hello and welcome back to the Watchman on the Wall channel. This prophetic word comes from Nate Johnston, Dallas, Texas. Don't fear the storm. To the pioneers right now mapping out their next step and feeling unsure, I hear the Lord saying to you, Don't move according to the weather, but according to the wind of the Spirit. It's normal for us to look at climate, naturally and spiritually, but you can't base your next yes on that by the meteorological news of heaven. You have to move with the Spirit. I felt the hesitancy of pioneers begin to step out into risk, the temptation to make plans that were safe because they were seeing the multiple storms, the systems brewing in the distance. So many have been feeling the major tension and pressure to move with the herd, to let go of the pioneer plow. But the Lord is urging you, don't drop what I gave you to steward. I know it's not been easy. This has been your most difficult season of pioneering yet, full of many heartaches and disappointments, but it will soon pay off. Don't drop the ball just yet. It will be faith steps right now that feel the hardest to take, but also breaking more ground than you are used to seeing. Your smallest movement in the direction of the Spirit, in this moment, will accomplish more than all the years you have pioneered combined. Don't underestimate the strength and the power you wield in creating roads in unknown paths. There will be new avenues and paths that you didn't expect to take. Don't write them off. Keep them on the table and dream with God over them. Look for the new relationships that ignite your new direction you couldn't see before. God is gathering the pioneers. God is raising up support systems. He's bringing like-minded, kindred families together to champion each other on the road. I see hubs of refreshment for you and your children to be sustained from. This will be both your greatest test and your greatest rest moment. Your opportunity to double down when it looks foolish to, and with the taunts of the giants in the land, maybe red tape or opposition, or to stay put and wait. In the faith step, it's going to come such a rush of rest, a feeling like you are having the hands of the Father on you, safe, secure, with him saying, well done. Shake off the lies that say you missed it or failed. Just because you expected the last season to be different, don't let it whip you and beat you down. Shake off man's words, shake off the judgments, and shake off the lies that say you are stuck because your next step, your next step is going to unlock more than you even know. Clarity is coming. Open doors are coming. You are created and anointed for this. I pray that you'd feel the wraparound presence of the Father today his love and protection, his favor, his validation over you, in Jesus' name. You are not alone. Keep going. And then Jesus said, Did I not tell you that if you believe, you will see my glory? John 11, 40. Friend, will you pray into this word of encouragement with me? Lord Jesus, we don't have to fear the storm. We're getting a lot of words right now, Father, about storm and rain, weather, things happening in the Spirit, Lord, and in the natural. Lord, I thank you that we can move with the Spirit, that, Lord, you have not given us a spirit of fear, but you have given us one of power and love and a sound mind. That's boldness, friend. That's resolve. That is a a faith and a trust like we haven't had in past seasons. Lord, I thank you that we are getting our focus off of what's safe, our focus off of sheltering in place, And Lord, we are getting our focus on the Spirit. Lord, I pray that we move with the Spirit. Lord, if you're not in this place, we don't want to be here. If you don't go there, we don't want to go there either. I pray, Father, that there is an increase in the fear of the Lord, not the fear of the storm. I pray an increase in my friend's life. I pray an increase in my life. That, Lord Jesus, we would not only discern what's happening, but then we would be able to confidently move forward because we are following the Spirit. In Jesus' mighty and matchless name, we declare, Amen.